all right uh, welcome welcome everyone yet to another tutorial from quote slice all right um so in this tutorial uh we will be looking um at how to actually um customize your pre splash screen um i know that we all love kiwi uh, but sometimes it can get very annoying if all your apps they start the same <laughs> They start with the Kiwi logo and, you know, you just see loading. Yeah, so maybe you might want to, you know, um, to change that according to your to your app design or whatever you, you want. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this case, for me, I have sort of like um, have my sort of image here. Yeah. So instead of showing the um, the Kiwi, um, yeah, the Kiwi bloating screen, I want um, this image to appear. Uh, but of course, this image is quite small and it's quite square. Um, so maybe I will also like the background to be maybe yellow, a bit yellow, which is not too very far from this color. So how do we do that? Um, so once again, everything has to do with your bulldozer spec file. All right. Yeah, it is. Everything has to do with your bulldozer spec file. Um, so let's go in and open in terminal. Yeah, so opening. Oh, uh, actually, I had a terminal already open here from last time, it seems. Okay. Yeah. So once again, if you you want to um sort of create a new bulldozer spec file what do you do it's bulldozer um in it like this so if you run that it will create um a new uh bulldozer spec file all right but for me i prefer working with i'm um, the one i've been working with <laughs> it's just the preference of mine yeah it's nothing that you i wouldn't recommend for you to do do what's uh, comfortable for you yeah anyway let's go on and customize this um so that we can have our uh pre splash screen um all right so yeah so last time we were looking at what were we looking at last time we were looking at requirements right where is that uh yeah here yeah. all right yeah so this is the same code from last time yeah so we're looking at requirements so now we're going to be looking at the um pre splash screen yeah so as you can already see here there's this part here which says pre splash of the application all right yeah so here this is where now you can put your own pre splash image that you have all right and keep in in mind that it must be a string all right so please keep it keep in mind be mindful of this right if it says string it means that you must put it like within um it must be a string <laughs> that's the easiest way i can explain and in this case it said list all right so which meant it has to be that you have to put everything in a list and a list is usually separated by a comma all right yeah and also very important you have to uncomment it all right so even if you put um everything here but if it's commented if it's commented then it won't um it won't be recognized the changes you make won't be recognized so let's go on and um put our image so in this case we have our image here so it's not in any particular location uh it's not in any particular folder okay so we're going to put like this of course if it was in a folder you are going to put the folder here like this right and then the image but for us we don't have a folder so it's just the splash image all right as i also mentioned the image is quite small so it won't cover the whole screen um so rather than having this image in a black screen maybe i would like to change the background how do you change the background um this is here yeah so there's this part here which says string pre-splash background color um for android toolchain yeah and then it also gives you a guideline in terms of what kind of format formats are, uh, are supported 
so supported formats are RRB RGGPP all right uh, I have no idea what this stands for <laughs> I have no idea what this stands for or one of the following names all right or you can put these names basically all right yeah and once again it's a string all right it must be a string okay yeah so let's go on and do that yeah so if you're using these of course it has to be a string so let's go on and put our string there so in this case I want the yellow I want this yellow color yeah so yellow yeah and once again I've uncommented it here uh, because if it's commented even if I, I change um, it won't reflect on the app okay let's save that okay so we've saved this now all right and now let's go to our uh, terminal so first things first very important we have to export the the path all right um, and then we have to um, bulldozer Android debug we have to um, run that yeah um, I know that so far I've sort of been pausing the video but I think this time around <laughs> I will not pause it but I'll just use this time um, just to share maybe um, yeah some things regarding bulldozer um, yeah so so for me originally I was actually using Windows I was using Windows um, but bulldozer doesn't run on Windows directly yeah so in order for you to run uh, bulldozer on Windows uh, you sort of need to install um, your Linux system within Windows so that you can sort of um, be able to use bulldozer yeah so as a result I ended up um, basically um, completely changing to Ubuntu so that's why you see that I'm using Ubuntu because it's much more um, easier for me um, of course I, I do not suggest that everyone does this um, but um, you are free with any option that works for you yeah so just do with uh, whatever option works for you yeah and and also um, you will encounter a lot of, of errors um, when you are coding especially for the first time uh, that's okay um, you just need to um, to try and find out what is causing the error um, which might be complicated sometimes it might require a lot of research um, yeah I'll definitely try my best to include a lot of these um, yeah into my tutorials um, so that you can you don't have to face the same form of like roadblocks that I that I faced when I began yeah um, yeah okay the, the app okay it looks like it's finished compiling um, so let's go um, once again it will be in the bin directory um, yeah so it should be here yeah so let's go and run this on our Android device and see how it goes okay um, all right so we have moved the file here um, we have moved the file here and it happens to be this one here okay so we're installing it okay so the app is now installed so the app is now installed so let's go on and navigate to it as you can see did you see that maybe let me just close it and open it again so now instead of showing the kv loading screen it shows the image and the background all right yeah so that's how you change uh the pre splash screen <laughs> all right um take care everyone have an amazing day